What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so this right here is the final episode for all legendary capturings. Yes, I've been saving this one for last mainly because, uh, well, it's the easiest one to, to do, and it's not time-based or anything. Well, it kind of is. Well, the second part of this, if you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm just looking out of my ass right now. So in this episode right here, we're going to be capturing all the ridges, or all the Reggies. Reggie Steel, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Rock. And then it all culminates to uh, Reggie Gigas, a very, very useless uh, legendary Pokemon and all that stuff. So here it is, guys. What we need to do now is we actually have to go to Pacific Log Town and uh, take a surf to the east right here. North, east, not to the west. And uh, luckily for us, I need to be putting on some repels right here because I do not want to get attacked by any more Pokemon. So, yes, luckily for us, we bought ourselves a boatload of max repels. Now, what you do need on your team is both the Relicanth and a, and a Whale Lord in order for this to all work. Don't forget, dive. Don't forget, you know, dig. Those kinds of stuff. Now, if I'm not mistaken... This will take us to the location at hand. As you can see, there are the fast currents ready to go, and there are going to be some trainers right here that you're going to be battling. Uh, for me, I am not in no mood to actually battle any of these trainers. It's going to, you know, waste some time and all that stuff. So what we need to do now is just evade, go Nyx, and, uh, oh crud, there's a special item right there. This is a Pokemon, uh, it's a Pokemon move right here, and, wow, the lagginess is driving me up the wall right now so let's go right ahead and surf at this location right here and hopefully this doesn't mix us up to another place so let's see so everything's going according to plan here we are route 133 and uh, well this will enable us to actually get to this and we find ourselves another max revive so that's pretty good and well we're gonna have to go down right here or else we're probably going to have to start it all over again or, or, or something like that. So, let's see. Go down here. This will take us up top. Hopefully not against any trainers because I am in no mood to battle. And, yes, yeah, this guy is revolving. Oh, God. Let's go. Woo! Oh, that was close. And... Come on. There we go. Okay, so... I'm assuming it's going to be up here. Could be wrong. It's going to be bad if I'm wrong. So, here we go. And okay, alrighty. So I think we're one step away. I think we need to go here. Come on, let it be it. Come on. And yes, <laughs> first try. So as you can see, there is going to be a dark spot right here. What you need to do now is get to or use one of your Pokemon, which is the Nose Dive, and it will take you all the way down to the sea floor. And I'm be known to every single one of you guys, you're going to be getting out of a cave right here. And this right here will actually take you somewhere else. So let's go right ahead and uh, find our place right here. Let's see. Oh, dang. Okay, so look look at that. Okay. And there is a, well, there is a sunlight right there. But as you can see, there is some braille going around right here. Probably the most mysterious thing that you'll ever find in all of Pokemon. Just the braille thing. So the light is filtering up, and Titanic is going all the way up. Where in the heck did I get this Pokemon? Don't really remember, but here we are in the sealed chamber. Now, another thing you guys need to do is you actually need to do this right now. So, like I said earlier, you need a Relicanth and a uh, and a Willord in the in this particular event. Make sure to have Relicanth in the first spot, and make sure to have Willord in the sixth spot in order for this to work. So. What needs to go on now is you need to go to the very end of this whole thing. And I don't need a repel right now. So let's go to the very end. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of writings on the wall. And here we are looking at two pillars. Now, I did mention early on, too, that you need a Pokemon with Dig. So keep that in mind. As you can see, you're reading this. So what you need to do now is use Dig. So good for us. We brought Toothless along. And... And right there, using Dig will open up a hole right here. So now you're entering another chamber here, and uh, well, you're not gonna, you're not really gonna find anything except, you know, this. 
It looks like uh, it, people lived here before, or this was there was a building here before. Something happened, and well, you're not gonna find any items right here, but you're gonna be going straight up to this location right here. Now, as soon as you read this, an event will happen. I don't know what it says. Comment down below what you think it says, or what if you know what it says. Bam! Two and three. It sounded as if doors opened somewhere far away. So after that happens, you have now officially opened up three op uh, three sealed chambers close to a location where you guys have been along your adventure and all that stuff. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fast forward to all three of these locations. And then after that, it's going to culminate to us just capturing, you know, that Regigigas and all that stuff. So I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty guys, so here we go, capturing of the Reggies, and the first one I have chosen to capture is obviously Reggie Rock, mainly because, well, out of all the Reggies, Reggie Rock is going to be the one that's going to be a little tough to paralyze, so what I did off screen was I prepared for this, pro this po specific Pokemon, you know, you don't necessarily have to use electric type Pokemon to paralyze a rock type Pokemon. And that's exactly what I did. I actually switched up uh, a few team members, kept some of them. I actually have uh, these guys right here. So let's go right ahead and take a look at what we're going to be using. So as you can see, I do have a Venomoth on my team. Leveled them up to level 42, and it does have Stun Spore. So that will be in... Uh, hopefully that will actually get us a little bit of an advantage right here. And then the next Pokemon we actually have here is Hydra number 4. And the reason why I have Hydra 4 here is because it does have Dragon Rage, which will automatically take 40 points away from any kind of Pokemon right there. So hopefully this will actually work and uh, we don't have to, you know, we're not going to mess up or anything like that. So let's go right ahead and see what is up right here. So here we are in the Desert Ruins and uh, from what it says right here, if I'm not mistaken, we're taking two steps down, two, and two steps right. Right? And then after that, I believe you have to use a Pokemon to Nose Dig, and, uh, well, to my, uh, to my knowledge right here. Or, wait, was it Strength? Yeah, it was Strength. Okay, so a Pokemon to Nose Strength, and as soon as you do that, BAM! We have an opening right here. Okay, so let's go right ahead and, uh, take a look where this Pokemon's at. Look at that, it's all sandy and everything, and uh, there he is. The big old lug is waiting for us. We're gonna save the game because, uh, yeah, we kinda don't wanna screw this up right here. Alrighty, maximum effort. Here we go, going up against Reggie Rock, one of the legendary golems of the Hoenn region. And as you can see, look at that. Bam. Okay, Venomoth, do your job. Paralyze this Pokemon. Let's go with some Stun Spore right here, and yes, it works. Look at that. And remember, all <laughs> like all three Regis right here are at level 40, so you got to be careful with this right here, especially if you have a Pokemon over leveled. Uh, you don't want to you don't want to mess with that. Uh, even though these Pokemon do have high defenses, uh, yeah, critical hits still count. So what we're gonna do right here is gonna go with the Psy Beam. Hopefully, this will lower its HP just a little bit, and well, it took a little bit of it, and yes. It cannot move, so let's go continue on with our Venomoth right here. Who never thought we'd be using a Venomoth on our team right here? So, look at that. Still paralyzed. You can't do nothing. So, let's go ahead and use... Uh, well, we're not going to use Signal Beam because I just realized that bug types are not good against uh, rock types here. So, we're just continuing on and crap. Okay, so it's confused. Probably shouldn't have done that. And here comes an Ancient Power on us. And hopefully that confusion wears up pretty quickly. And uh, wow, all its stats has just risen. Oh god. Okay, so that right there could prove uh, could be a mess right there. So we're gonna be going with Gus. We're trying not to mess uh, anything up right here. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna just chop away. And hopefully that uh, that confusion wears off. And look at that iron defense. So everything's going well. It's not. <laughs> we're not gonna mess up right here. So here we go again, another gust attack, and well, not so effective, but yes, it snapped out of its uh, its uh, confusion right here, so that's all good for us. Very, 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 very good, okay? So let's see, let's try it again, 
We're gonna keep uh, we're gonna keep on going with Gus since it doesn't have any other effects right here. We're just chomping away at this Pokemon right here. Yes, it is paralyzed. All right, so it's all stat out, and uh, can't do anything against this, especially you know since it is a flying type Pokemon right here. So let's go with one more Gust attack. Come on, baby. Oh damn. Okay, so it's it, it, oh wow. Okay, so here comes another ancient uh, power attack. And that nearly destroyed, or that nearly beats Venomoth, so let's go ahead and take one more Gust. Please do not let it be a critical hit. And there we go, Regirock is in the red. And here comes another Ancient Power. It's okay, guys. We already, well, Venomoth already did its job right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go straight to, let's see, we got to go to a Pokemon that it can't affect. So let's go with Sage of the Halo right here. Alrighty, Sage of the Halo, you're just standing there to take a hit. I'm going to be throwing some timer balls. Hopefully this will work. I remember playing, I think it was Emerald version, like back when I was Draven XC711. I didn't have the best, of, uh, you know, the best of luck against these Reggie, uh, Reggie Pokemon, especially Reg Ice. That Pokemon just hated me. I think all Ice type Pokemon just hate me. I don't know why, but. That's, that, yeah, that's always been an issue for me right there. So there we go again. Another timer ball does not work. And this guy's uh, defense won't go ho won't go any higher. So let's just keep on throwing those timer balls away. Hopefully we get this guy. And if we do somehow run out of timer balls, we do have a lot of ultra balls right here too. So that won't be a problem as well. And look at that. Okay, so here we go again. Let's do it. Timer ball for the win. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Stay in there. Come on. Aw, oh, damn it. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, you suck. Why are you why, 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 why are you being so mean, man? Why are you being so mean? Okay, so his attack has risen. And, or it's special defense. And, well, we're just going to keep on throwing timer balls. Nothing too different right there. And this guy will not go down without a fight. And here he goes again with another curse attack. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, he's definitely not going down without a fight. So let's go again, timer ball, please, come on. Stay in that ball, I'm pressing that button and no. Oh God, this Pokemon is not, he, he's not, yeah, he, he does not want to go with me. So again, come on, let's go, timer ball. Come on, stay in the ball, stay in the fucking ball. Two. No! <laughs> no! Oh god, Regirock, you suck! And here comes a Bulldoze attack. Not so effective. Yeah. Good thing my Pokemon is like level it's like 30 levels ahead of this guy, so. Won't be uh won't be as bad. So there we go, one. And done. Look at that. Oh god. You see. This is one of the reasons why I do not like capturing legendary Pokemon because it's just so, it just takes a long time. It really does. And since we are living in like the modern age where like they're gonna put every single legendary Pokemon on there, it's just, it's just gotten ridiculous. It really has. And oh god, it's paralyzed again. Come on. Let's go. Let's do this again. Timer ball, stay in the ball. Come on, man. Come on. There's one. There's two. There's three. Yes! Woo! See, guys, persistence is key. And in my case, uh, a lot of cuss words is key as well. So, there we go, guys. We have captured the very first of the three Reggies. Well, four, if you're counting the Regigigas and all that stuff. But here it is. Reggie Rock, the Rock Peak Pokemon. It is a rock type Pokemon, obviously, by the name. Five feet, seven ounces, or whatever it is. 571 pounds. You would think that this guy would weigh just a little bit more just because it's made out of rocks. So Regirock was sealed away by people long ago. If this Pokemon's body is damaged in battle, it is said to seek out suitable rocks in its own uh, in its own to repair itself. Wow, it's a pretty uh pretty uh pretty shifty or pretty good Pokemon right there. So that's one. So I'm gonna go off screen. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get to the next spot right here. Um, obviously, we're in the desert, so the next spot is going to be Registeel, and I'm going to need a Pokemon that knows Fly for this one. So I'll be right back for the next one right here, guys. 
Alrighty guys, so here we are in Route 120. This is right outside of Lily Cove City and uh, well Right here. We're gonna be finding Reg uh, Reggie Steele and uh, For this guy's puzzle. It's gonna be a little easy So all you need to do right now is go straight to the Braille and it's gonna tell you go straight down the middle of this whole place So I would have to assume it's right here down the middle Let's see. This is the middle now you need a Pokemon that knows fly once you do that Go ahead and go straight to the Pokemon that has Fly, and uh, thankfully for us, we have Toxic Batman in hand, and uh, it's telling us that that's not the middle, so let's see. The middle of the whole place. It should be right here, then. So let's go ahead and yeah, try this out again. Come on. And we can't do that. Okay, so let's see. Right here? Damn, this, like, what exactly is the middle of this whole location? Okay, so there it is. There's the middle of the whole building, or the whole cave, and bam! You open up another can of worms. Another entrance to uh, some place right here. And, well, as you can see, another big lug is waiting for us. So, like always, we have got to save up our game because, uh, yeah, we do not want any of these Pokemon to go away. Now, I don't think Stun Spore is going to work on this Pokemon, so what we're going to do is go, we're going to go straight to Hydra number 2, and we're actually going to use Thunder Wave on this guy. So let's go right ahead and try and capture this big old lug right here. Wow. Look at that. The diagram. Okay, guys, so here it is, Reggie Steel, and, well, like every single one of these Reggies, they're going to be at level 40. Their defense... Yeah, pretty high, and uh, well, this guy has clear body, so that means that no, uh, no stat, no, no, no intimidate is going to affect its stats right there. So there it is, guys. We paralyzed the big old lug, and uh, well, he's going to be using ancient power just because, yeah. Well, here, for some reason, Gyarados is a uh, is a flying type Pokemon right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually make the switch, and of course, the internet is going to be. Uh, screw with me so I'm going to be switching to Hydra number four right here so I can actually use that dragon rage attack so let's see that's Hydra Hydra number two, uh, Hydra number four is here now let's see it's gonna be using amnesia so it, it doesn't really matter if uh, it doesn't really matter if uh, what was it uh, if uh, it uses amnesia or anything because uh, dragon rage will automatically take those 40 points away so here we go dragon rage doing its thing and yet yeah, it is still paralyzed so let's go ahead and try another dragon range I'm thinking that maybe three dragon ranges will do it but it looks like to me that maybe just two will be fine and well that was a critical hit oh god okay so I'm not going to I'm not going to risk it because uh, what if it has 39 HP I'm just saying so we're going to go straight to Venomoth right here, and uh, hopefully everything will work out. Come on, Venomoth. Let's do the thing. And yes, you are paralyzed. You steal to have Pokemon you. So let's go ahead and use some Gust Attack and just chop away at this guy's defense. Look at that. Not so effective, yet it's, it's still paralyzed. And, uh, well, it'll actually help us out with the capturing and all that stuff. Just make sure to have these Pokemon in red. I know that I've captured uh, some of these legendary Pokemon in uh, when they were in the yellow. But, again, these guys, well, these, these Regis right here have a way of screwing you over somehow. So, let's go ahead and go with a Gust. And there we go. Probably going to chop it down one more time. As you can see, it is uh, lowering its speed. And it's raising up its attack right here in defense. So, yeah, this Pokemon know what, knows what it's doing right here. So, here we go again. Another Gust attack. That. And it is paralyzed. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to start throwing some timer balls right here. Rather than not you risk a critical hit on it. And here's one timer ball. Come on, man. Stay in the ball. Two. Three. <laughs> oh, that would have been awesome. Oh my god, this Pokemon is playing with my emotions right now. Okay, alrighty. Alright, let's do this again. Let's go and throw another time ball at this guy. So, here we go. Bam. Ah, oh, you suck. You suck. Come on. And here comes another Iron Defense. Okay. I see what you're doing, Registeel, but it's not working. 
Luckily for me, I got a boatload of timed balls right here. And hopefully, by, maybe by the fifth or sixth, or maybe the tenth one, we'll be able to capture you. And of course, we'll be hiding the stats, lowering everything. And uh, well, it's uh, yeah, it's special defense went up right there. So here we go, another timer ball. Stay in the ball, man. Come on. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, so here comes a curse attack. Wow, I had uh, Amnesia and Curse all mixed up. I'm like, wait, so Amnesia does it both, or it just like it depends? But nah, it's Curse and Amnesia. My bad, guys. My bad. And uh, this guy is not going down quietly. Okay, so its special defense will not go uh, up anymore. So now let's just throw away. Let's just throw some uh, timer balls at this guy. There's one. Nope. This guy is not. He's not wanting to, uh, to join his brother uh, Reggie Rock with me. So. Come on, man! You know you want to be my Pokemon. Come on. That's one. Ah, oh, you suck. Oh, God. These Pokemon right here. They're driving me crazy. You drive me crazy! And come on. Come on, stay in there. That's two. Three. Oh, you suck. Oh, man. Come on, Regi Registeel. Don't make me waste all my timer balls. Come on! Stay in there! Oh, you suck. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to hit him up one more time. We could risk it, but... I don't wanna... Like, I, I kinda feel like a, the next hit will be a critical hit, and then I'm definitely gonna pay for it, and then all of you guys are gonna be laughing at me, and I'm just gonna be like, what the hell, man? Seriously, what the hell? So here he goes with another curse, and yep, yeah, he is heightening up his attack and everything, so let's try this again. Come on, Timer Ball. Do me a favor. Stay in the ball, man. Come on, stay in the ball. God dang it! <sighs> and here comes an ancient power. And well, it's his stats will not go up. So here we go again. Come on, stay in the ball. One, two. Come on! Oh, <laughs> you suck! Oh, damn it! And well, it's finally paralyzed. So let's try this again. Man, I just hate using... Oh, God, man. Why does it take for uh, stats effects to actually capture these guys easily? And even then, they make it even harder for us. Oh, God, you suck. And, well, here's another curse attack. And, of course, he's going to be, uh, you know, manipulating his, uh, his, uh, his stats right here. So, let's go again. Come on, timer ball. Come on. One, two... Three. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! So there it is, guys. We caught ourselves Reggie Steel. Oh, God. It almost makes this whole internet thing uh, just like, you know, complete obsolete and all that crud. So let's go ahead and take a look at Reggie Steel's uh, or entry into the Pokedex right here. So here it is, guys. Reggie Steel, the iron Pokemon, a steel tap Pokemon, six foot three. 451 pounds. Now, again, uh, being a, that they're like, you know, golems, uh, you know, rock, steel, and ice, you would think they would be heavier than this. Really. Like, you would think that they would weigh more than Snorlax, but they don't. So, anywho, Registeel has a body that is harder than any kind of metal, even vibranium. Holy crud. Its body is apparently hollow. No one has any idea what this Pokemon eats. Probably the souls of all the Pokemon that it's defeated. I don't know. So, we're going to skip ahead to the next area, which will be Regice, and, uh, well, hopefully the internet won't screw up on me on this one right here, so I'll be right back for the next location, guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are in Route 105, north of Dufer Town. Now, this is the location where we're going to locate Regice. Now, there's nothing too or out of the ordinary that you need in here, you know, fly or strength or dig or anything. All you need is patience, so what you need to do here now is you need to read this and you need to read or you need to wait there for two whole minutes so while we're doing that I'm just gonna be talking to you about a few things that you know we're having in plan just before this whole thing opens up and, and everything so now after capturing uh, after I capture Regice I'm going to have to wait a few um, yeah I'm gonna have to wait a few a uh, few uh, hours in order for the daytime to happen in order to get uh, Reggie uh, Gigas and all that stuff so that's one plan right there, and then after that, you know, it's gonna be fun and dandy and all that crud. Uh, I'm just rambling on, I'm just looking at the timer right here, and I'm just gonna be like, well, hurry up, man. 
hurry up. So how is you guys' day? Pretty good? Great? Awesome. What else? What else? What else? What else? Well, it's the weekend. It's a Sunday. And, uh, well, my day has been good. Again, I'm just rambling on, guys. I'm just making time right here. Uh, we still got, like... Oh, crud. It's not, it hasn't even been a minute. Holy crud. Anywho, guys. Um, so, after this whole event is done right here, yeah, we are going to be facing the Elite Four one last time. So, do expect the episode after this to be the final episode of our Pokemon Auras walkthrough. It, you know, for me, it, it's it's something very, very big because, you know what? Back when I was driving XC711, I came out with 21 episodes of this specific game in Japanese. Didn't work out. And look where we're at right now. We got a nice uh, channel filled with a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, you know walkthrough games. Damn near close to 8,000 subscribers. I'm very very proud and I'm thankful for all of you guys. It has not hit uh, two minutes yet. We're close. We, we're a few seconds uh, seconds away right here. So yes, guys, thank you guys for all the support and all that stuff. And you know what? This this whole capturing this legendary hunting has been very very fun. Uh, I hope never to do it again. I'm just joking. Uh, just wait till Alpha Sapphire. And look at that. It has been two whole minutes, guys. So now it is time to go capture Regice. Yes. Still, still think that they should have uh, named it Regice and all that stuff. But yeah, whatever. Anywho, there's nothing too special about this guy. It's made of ice. And well, look at that. Its diagram is uh, pretty awesome right there. Look at that, Regice. Okay, so here we go. Hydra 2, ready to go. And, uh, well, like every single one of these uh, Re Reggie Pokemon, they will be at level 40. So what I'm going to do now is, yes, I'm going to paralyze this guy and uh, hope for the best, too. So, there it is. Thunder Wave. Good to go. And, uh, well, here comes its ancient power. And, uh, well, hopefully it doesn't, uh, well, it doesn't. So, let's see. Let's go to Hydra 4 right here. That way we can start chopping away at its HP. Do not know how much HP this guy has. It would be nice, you know, it would be nice for, uh, you know, Nintendo or Pokemon to actually show how much HP this, uh, the opposing Pokemon has. That way we don't accidentally, like, you know, use an extra Dragon Rage here and there. So, here we go. Dragon Rage. And uh, that takes a nice chunk out of his HP, just 40 points exactly. And uh, there goes another uh, curse attack right there. Wow. You gotta love the Reggies. They love their uh, curse attack. And, uh, well, here we go. Another one. And, uh, well, here comes an ancient power. It's gonna be more effective towards this Hydra than uh, my last Hydra because, uh, you know, obvious reasons and all that stuff. So. Let's go right ahead and switch it up. Let's go straight to Venomoth and, uh, you know, do the same thing right here. You know, just use Gust Tanks and hopefully, just hopefully, we capture this Pokemon right here. So here we go, Venomoth, and here comes an Ancient Power. Uh, crud. And, yeah, that really messes with me right now. So here we go. Let's get this Gust Attack right here. And come on, baby. Okay, so, yeah, its defense is up. And here comes its Amnesia Attack. You gotta love the Amnesia. Okay, here we go. Gust Attack for the win. And not for the win, but here comes a... What? Bulldoze? Wait, how does Bulldoze affect my Venomoth if it's a flying type? I, I, I don't get the world of Pokemon sometimes. So, here we go again. Another Gust Attack. And still not in the red. Holy crud, this Pokemon is not going down. Okay. Alrighty, he's uh, strengthening up its stats, so let's go one more gust. It should have been in the red right now. And there we go. Okay, so... Yeah. Venomoth did its job. It's a... Yeah, it's going to faint right here. So now... Let's go straight to the next Pokemon right here, and... Uh, well... Let's go with Sage of the Halo. Now, I don't think Regice has an actual Ice-type attack right here. So, we're just going to be throwing some timer balls, and hopefully it doesn't use up all our timer balls right here. Reggie, Reggie steals uh, salt to that right there. Okay, there we go. Two. Oh, you suck. Okay, come on. What is the matter with you, Regice? You and all your Ice-type predecessors, you all have some kind of like a some vendetta against me. 
Always had a hard time trying to capture these uh, these ice eye Pokemon, and uh, well, there's one. Come on, now oh, you suck. Ah, okay, so you're paralyzed. You're not gonna do nothing. So here we go again. Timer ball. Let's get this. Come on. Stay in the Pokeball. One. No. Oh god. Okay, so this is another game of attrition right here. Seeing if uh, Regis can actually stay in his goddamn timer ball. Come on. Stay in the ball. Come on. Ah, oh, you suck. Ah, oh, you suck. Okay, so here it is. Another um, another uh, paralysis right here. So here's our fourth or fifth timer ball right here. Hopefully this will actually do it. Come on. Stay in there. One. Two. Ah, oh, you suck. Okay. And yet you're paralyzed. Now, if a Pokemon can't move because it's still paralyzed, then how come it can get out of the Pokeball real quickly? I just want to know that. Okay, here we go. Well, that's one. Damn you, Regice. Oh, God. Okay. Here we go. Let's try another Timer Ball and see if this one works. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball, man. Come on, two. Oh, you suck. God, okay, so it's a special defense won't go up anymore, so let's go again. Timer ball, come on, don't fail me now. We're getting closer to capturing this guy. Come on, one, two. Ah, oh, you suck. Yeah, you definitely have to love these uh, these ancient Pokemon right here. Now, well, there comes a bulldoze attack, and uh, well, it's not that effective against me. So let's go ahead and continue on with the onslaught right here. Let's go with the timer ball. Number nine. And that's one. And uh, yeah, he, he yeah, he, he's just being mean right now. I stay Pokemon. They don't like me for some reason. So here we go. Another time ball. Let's get it. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the frick. God dang it. Ah, God. You know, you have to have the patience of a saint in order to capture all these legendary Pokemon. Trust me, guys. I mean main reason like I, I was gonna finish this game up at the Delta series and not capture these other Pokemon but you guys are wanting to see the legendary capturings and it wouldn't be complete without the legendary Pokemon yeah I have to have a, a huge huge patience so here we go again another timer ball come on don't fail me now come on stand there god dang it I freaking hate you and another amnesia so let's go again Try this uh, timer ball. Try this timer ball. Come on. Stay in the ball, you a-hole ridge eyes. No! Oh god, okay, so you're you're just being you're just being an asshole right now, so there's another bulldoze attack. Not so effective. Mainly because, well, yeah. Good old Sage is a grass type Pokemon right here. So come on, stay in the ball. One, two. Ah, oh, you suck. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, I see how it is. It's always the ice type Pokemon, guys. It really is. It's always the ice type Pokemon. So here we go. Come on. One, two, three. Yes, yes, yes. Oh God. I feel like a thousand pounds has been lifted off my shoulders. Holy crud. Oh my God. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. So there it is, guys, the third and final of the regular uh, Pokemon, or the legendary Golems, Regice, the Iceberg Pokemon. It is an Ice-type Pokemon, of course, 5'11", 385 pounds of pure ice. As you can see right here, Regice's body is made during the Ice Age. The deep frozen body can't be melted, even by fire. This Pokemon controls frigid airs of negative 328 degrees Fahrenheit. That is uh, frozen solid right there. Frozen freaking solid. Oh, Jeebus. Okay. Alrighty, so you're being transferred to the uh, PC right here. So, that is pretty much it right there for the, you know, the three legendary golems that we were supposed to capture right here in Hoenn. Now, there is still one more Reggie, and unfortunately right now I can't capture it because, well, it is nighttime. This actually has to happen in the daytime, so I'm gonna have to wait. Well, I'm gonna have to take a nap and then wake up and do this all over the wall. Get the Reggie, uh, Reggie Gigas and all that stuff. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going straight to Pacific Logtown because that's exactly where you're gonna have to actually find the next uh, person right here. 
or to unlock this whole thing right here. So here we are, Pacific Log Town. And uh, bam, back baby. Okay, guys. So here we are, Pacific Log Town. We will be waiting uh, for just a little bit for the day to come back. And then, uh, yeah, we'll finish off this whole episode with Reggie Giga. So I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys. So after a few good hours of sleep, it's finally daytime. And, uh, well, this is the part right here where we're actually going to be capturing Reggie Gigas. Now, all you need is three, uh, well, the three Reggies in your team and uh, quite a few weird things that you need to do right here. So first and foremost, let's go straight to this house right here because uh, it needs to be in the daylight. We need to talk to some little girl that will, you know, kind of tell us about this, uh, this phenomenon right here. So if you talk to her, six dots open three doors. Grandpa used to say that, and I was always all wondering what he meant. I had no idea that it meant uh, that it was some secret, uh, some secret to meet a special Pokemon. He told me another story too. I wonder if it's, if this uh, has something, uh, some hidden meaning to it. Uh, Grandpa used to say that this huge Pokemon sometimes visits our region, but you'll need to have something cold uh, to meet it. I wonder what he meant. Ice, ice cream maybe. So. He ba she basically means that, you know, Regigigas likes to visit cold places, and, well, if you guys haven't taken a look around, there's only one place in this whole this whole region that's actually very, very cold, and that is the Shoal Cave. But that is not the place to go. It's actually somewhere else. Now, the other thing, too, that we need to do is we need to go back to Slayport City because we need to re-nickname our, our Regia or our Regice or whatever you like to call him. I don't know. A little confused about that, so I'm just gonna call him Reg Ice. That way, none of you guys get all uh, get up on my case about oh, you're pronouncing them all wrong and all that stuff. So here we are in Slayport City, and uh, we're gonna be nicknaming uh, Reg Ice right here. And it really doesn't matter what kind of a uh, nickname you give it; it's just you know, Reg Ice needs to have a nickname. So let's go straight to the name right right here. I think this is the house, right? Nope, that's the Poke Fan Club. So let's go straight up right here. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to this old man right here. So let's go ahead and say, hello, hello, I am the name Raider. I can uh, more or less tell your Pokemon's fortune by its name. Want me to rate nicknames of your Pokemon? Sure. Which Pokemon's nickname should I rate for you? Let's go right ahead and go with Regice right here. So, let's see, Regice, you picked quite a fine nickname. Well, I think if you give it something even better, what'd you say? Yes, let's give it a, a good nickname right here. Let's give him, uh... I don't want to necessarily give him this, but you know what? You know what? Let's go with this one. Let's go and nickname this guy Frost for the time being. Don't need to, yeah, I don't really need to do much, but there it is, Frost. Okay, so done. From now on, this Pokemon will be known as Frost. You're right, and uh, whatever, whatever, yada yada yada. Okay, so now the other step right here in getting Regigigas is, is that your Reg uh, your Regice needs to have something cold. Uh, or, you know, you need to have it hold something cold. And luckily for me, I have a Castelia Cone right here. So if you give this guy the Castelia Cone as a gift, to, or not a gift, but just something to hold on, this will automatically trigger the next event. So now, we actually have to go to the place where, Re where Regigigas is going to be located. Now, I did say that the only place in this whole region is, that, that's remotely cold is, is the Shoal Cave. Now, there is another place here that you can actually go to, and that is the lair that, in, which we're, we, in which we found Regia uh, Regice. So, let's go right ahead and park our car right here at the Granite Cave. That way it's a little bit easier for us to just surf and all that stuff. And again, sorry for the lagginess, I don't know, it's morning, internet gets all crappy and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and uh, take care of business right now. So let's see, I don't know if I battle this guy, so I'm going to be using another Max Repel, like always, and I do not want to get attacked by any Pokemon or Pokemon trainer out here, so let's go ahead and start surfing. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so evade all the Pokemon, uh, Pokemon trainers as possible because don't want to get mixed up in a Pokemon battle that I kind of just uh, didn't know that I didn't have, so here it is, another... Hydra, and uh, let's just hope this guy surfs out of the way. There we go. 
And here is the layer in which you'll find Reg uh, Regigigas. So all you have to do now is go straight in there and go straight to the place where you found Regi uh, Regi Ice or Reg Ice. I like to call it Reg Ice or whatever. So look at this. There's nothing that will appear right now, but once you step in the middle, the very earth is quaking. Is something approaching? Zzzit. Oh damn. So here it is, guys, the final Reggie, Reggie Gigas. And you would think this guy ha would have a combination of typings on him, but no, it is a, it's a freaking normal type. It is a god dang normal type, and it does have slow start as its effect, which is kind of a, uh, it's kind of lame. It really is. It's kind of lame, and uh, I don't know, I don't know what the use for Reggie Gigas is. I don't know why they put him on there. And, uh, well, this guy's going to be going with the Zen head, uh, headbutt right here. Not so effective. So now, again, I'm going to keep on saying this because, you know, it's actually helped us throughout the whole uh, legendary capturings right here. But why break something that is not broken? So here we go. Let's get Tank out here. And hopefully, just hopefully, we uh, we, 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 we lower this guy's, uh, whatchamacallit, his uh, HP right here. So here we go with a Body Slam. And that right there will take a nice chunk. Now again, Regigigas is a normal type Pokemon, so that is a that that, that you know you guys got to be careful with what with, what you do against this guy. Now this guy's gonna be using Wide Guard, and it is protecting the opposing team. And well, here we go again with the Body Slam, and this one will take him down. Now, few things that I need to tell you guys before we end up capturing this guy. You can only get Regigigas in the morning, okay? In, no, not in the morning, but in the daytime. If you switch your your uh, your game to another 3DS, or if you try switching up the time just to get Regigigas, it won't work. Trust me on that one. It will not work. In fact, you'll have to wait a whole other day just to try and capture Reg Regigigas. So make sure to capture this Pokemon or do this event on the same uh, 3DS that you're actually doing because uh, yeah you don't want you don't want to be that one person that's gonna have to wait a full day just to actually capture this guy right here and the same thing goes for every single legendary Pokemon that you know is basically time based and there we go two come on and Regigigas is just being a mean mean old Pokemon right there so of course it does have a uh, wow it's finally getting his act together what the hell does what the hell does that mean oh crud okay so it does have counter so that right there is going to be bad if we ever attack it again, like physically and all that stuff. So there we go. One, two, three. Come on! Oh no! Oh, Reggie Gigas, you, 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 you're really uh, making it hard for me right now. So let's go again. Let's go for another timer ball. Luckily for us, we bought a buttload of timer balls. So there it is. That's one. Here's two. Come on. And this guy does not want to get captured right now. And what the hell is it doing? Ooh. Okay, so that right there was a super powerful attack. I need to I need to uh, get a I need to get a hold on this guy because uh he's not letting me uh wanting to be his trainer and all that stuff. Come on, stay in there, come on. You know you want to be my Pokemon. No! Ah, oh, you suck. And yes, you are still paralyzed. Probably because of your slow start. So here we go again in a timer ball. Come on, man. Just stay in the Pokeball. You know you want to. That's one. That's two. That's three. Oh my god! No! Oh, Regigigas, why must you hate me so much? Alright, here we go. Again, timer ball. Let's go. And, well, timer ball is going one. And, uh, yeah, this guy is not. Yeah, he's not coming. Uh, he's not coming with me, at all. Oh God. Okay. So uh, for me, I, when did I discover or known about Regigigas? That, I think that was like a Sinnoh region. And uh, yeah, there is an event that I will be getting to back in Pokemon Platinum once I, you know, start doing those videos and stuff. But you can get Regigigas in the Pokemon Platinum game. The thing is that you have to have an event Regigigas in order to get the actual Regigigas from that game. And the regular Regigigas in the game is only at level 1, I believe. So that that right there is kind of like a weird uh, it's a weird trade-out for a level 100 to a level 1. And, uh, well, as you can see, Regigigas, he's being aggressive with us. So let's go again. Timer ball. Come on, baby. Stay in the ball. Damn you! Okay, alrighty. So it's still paralyzed. 
we're, we're, we're gonna capture this guy. I know we're gonna capture this guy. It's just he's just being a, a complete a-hole right now. Let's go. Stay in the ball. God dang it. Well, as you can see, he, he's using revenge. We haven't attacked him, but this guy is just gonna... Yeah. He is going to end Tank right here, and I, I feel bad for Tank because he's fainted quite a few times trying to capture some different Pokemon right here. So, let's go right ahead and go with the Pokemon that it can't be, and that is our good old buddy, Hydra 2. Alrighty, and yes, we're going to intimidate this guy just to make sure that, you know, his attacks aren't so good at all. And, well, let's go back to the Timer Ball. Come on. Come on, Regigigas. Stay in the Pokeball. One. Two. Come on. Come on. Come on. Three. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Finally. Oh, God. Okay. So that. That is that, guys. We caught ourselves Regigigas. Oh, my Lord. And there he is. Regigigas in all its glory. The colossal Pokemon. 12 feet, 925 pounds of pure normalness. It is said to have made Pokemon that look like itself from a special ice, mountain, rocks, and magma. You don't say. So this is like the father of the Regis. Okay, so it is being transferred to our PC. And, uh, oh my god, I, I, I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I've said this before and I'm going to keep on saying it again, but yes. Alrighty guys, so we're here back into the Pokemon Center after, you know, the internet has screwed up on us again. So, let's go right ahead into the PC and take a look at this new Pokemon that we just captured. Alrighty, so, let's see. Ah, there we are. There he is. Okay, so I, ca I caught quite a few Pokemon along the way. So here it is, guys. Regigigas, the normal type Pokemon. It has a, a jolly nature and it has a slow start. Let's go ahead and take a look at its summary right here. Now, Slow Start temporarily halves the Pokemon's attack and speed. Of course, the internet has to go off again. And, uh, well, you guys can't see on the bottom, but it says Foresight, Revenge, Wide Guard, and Zen Headbutt as its attacks. Now, its, it's biggest, biggest uh, stat right here happens to be its physical attack. So this guy is a tank when it comes to just, you know, hitting people and all that stuff. And, uh, well... That's pretty much it right there for all the Pokemon that we have uh, managed to capture right here in this game right here now, guys. Wow, it has been an adventure, and I, I, I'm i just going to say this right now, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely proud of the way we, we went through this whole walkthrough. I know that it's taken quite a while for me to get back to Pokemon Auras, but we managed to do it. And uh, this right here will leave us uh, with one more episode. It's one final episode, and that is our return to the Pokemon League, and we're going to be battling the Pokemon League all in one episode just to finish this whole thing off. Now, I get it. What happened to the starter Pokemon that you said you were going to get after beating the Elite Four five times? Well, I'm going to leave that for something later on in Alpha Zapfire. But as you guys can see right here, we've done everything. And, uh, well, it, it, it's only fitting for us to just go back to the Pokemon League and finish everything off. So, again, guys, I'm extremely proud of the way we went through all this. I'm happy that you guys have had the patience to actually watch this walkthrough with me and all that crud. And, uh, well, this will leave us open to what will eventually become our 10th anniversary special, which will be the grand, you know, the grand premiere of our Pokemon Sun and Moon walkthrough. Now... Off screen, I have been uh, I have been uh, making videos for that game. I have actually managed to get up at least 30 episodes, so we're we're in the cool we're like we're in the we're in the like you know we're we're getting there. We're gonna we're gonna finish this walk through, and then we're gonna get to Pokemon Sword and Shield eventually within 2021. But right now, just enjoy every single episode that we have right here for Oraz and X, and then uh, yeah, we'll see what happens in the in the in the future right here. So again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.